G'day guys, welcome to Rama's Fish Room. So I went to get my little camera out so it was less strain on my hand and turns out when I went motorbike riding I used both batteries and they're both completely dead. Um, not very... S <coughs> my dog doesn't like crows. Um, not very smart of me. So I went to the doctors today. I got an x-ray. Um, he basically said yes, it's broken, even just from my description before I even had the x-ray. He said by my, he, he kind of laughed and I said, I, I think it was just bru, I thought it was just bruised. And he's like, no, but what you've told me, it's broken. But the x-ray was to find out how bad it's broken. And he said, if I don't hear from him, by the end of the day, um, it's not threatening to my lungs. If if I if I have to take further action, or if he has to take further action, um, he'll give me a buzz. So he hasn't called me. Really good sign. Um, so I think I'm just going to go to work tomorrow. Just take it super easy. No lifting, none of that jazz. Um, the, the problem is I get I get this false sense of I feel good but right now I don't I can take a full breath right now but there's something whatever the bit of broken bone or something must move in there and when it moves I feel it <laughs> I really do but um, I just take it as it comes um, I'm not going to be an idiot about it. I'm not going to go to work and lift like a 50 kilo cabinet. Um, I need to actually check an IBC. You guys might as well come and check with me. Um, we're, we're going to move some fish, I think. I want to shut this. I want to shut some heaters down at some stage because it's starting to get cool. But I've uh, got too many fish. Anyway. Let's have a look at what we're doing today. Alright, so I want to put fry in this tank. The only problem is... I can't remember if there is a fish in this tank. Just a, a single fish. I feel like... I put a single fish in here. But, doesn't really look like it. Uh, I might have a look off camera, guys, because uh, if there is one fish in here, it's going to kill all the fry that I put in. So, I really need to have a vigorous look. Alright, guys, so there was no fish in there. I ended up giving it a vacuum, but you know how it is. Vacuum makes things worse before it makes it better. The reason I vacuumed it is because I'm not going to be able to vacuum it when there's one centimeter fry in there. Um, I, I actually had to set up the vac without sucking on it and do a little tricky siphon thing because I can't actually suck on the hose. But I kind of come up with an idea, guys. A vac a day keeps the tanks at bay. Is that the right term? At bay for tanks? I don't know. But anyway. A vacuum a day. I think that's what I'm going to do. Next 40 something days we're going to be vacuuming. And then once we get to the last one, we'll be back to the first one. Um, so the fish were moving over here, but I need something to put them in. Uh, I don't know what to put them in. Hang on. Oh, here we go. Here's a bucket. I was hoping for one of my 10 litre white buckets, but it didn't happen. That's alright. Uh, I'm sporting around the fish room like I am healthy. I've got to remember to walk slowly, guys. Hopefully, I think the temperature is real nice and close. The, uh, the IBC was actually really warm. Like surprisingly warm. Uh, all right, so catch all these guys out. All 
Alright, not many to go now. I need to get every last one because they'll eat the ones that I want to put in here. And the ones that I want to put in here are a lot more valuable to me than these ones. Just more valuable in personal breeding project, not more valuable as in money. I'm looking forward to these F3s. Should be some stout fry. The only problem is, well it's not a problem, but the F, you guys already know this, the F1 and F2 pair that I use to breed this F3 is not my favorite pair. So I'm gonna have to be super critical in selection of the F3s to pick out. I'll only be keeping like 1% of these. Oh, it's a not so alive one. Anyway, I'll see you when I'm putting these guys in the new tank. Alright guys, so this one's pretty simple. I'm just going to double check the temperature. We don't need massive Oh my god, it's like identical. I couldn't write that stuff. I'm not too worried about the water parameters. They're both coming from the same tarp. The only thing that I will do is I'll feed them quite lightly because I don't know if that tank will actually be cycled because there hasn't been fish in it for quite a while. Oh, there's still one in the bucket. Alright, so now we're going to do the same thing again. But in this tub. This one might be a bit trickier. I'm just getting the dirt with the fry because it's too hard. Um, I'm going to turn the camera off guys, I really want to concentrate on this one. Alright, so there's either not half as many as I thought in there, or I scooped up way more in the first scoop than I actually realised. I'm going for option B, please. Who knows. Just going to have to wait and see. I can't even see one right now. It's not looking. Oh, there's one. I can see one. <laughs> oh, that batch might be a bit of a flop, guys. Uh, I can see a few. Definitely not as many as I would have liked. Oh well. There's a dead one there, so... Fortunately with everything that's been going on with me, I might just got it, got to them a bit late with the brine shrimp and I might have not got enough feed straight away. Yeah, there's a nice, there's a good size one there. I wonder if he's t taking out the other ones. Anyway, it is what it is. I got this pair up here now. I'll give them a go. But anyway, guys, get excited for the F3 batch. There's plenty of them. There's plenty of F2. There's plenty of, um, there's plenty of flower horns, actually. There's definitely no shortage. Got a few down here. One, two, three, four, I think. One, two, three. There's still five in this tank here, which is, they're a few weeks old now. 
They're actually growing really slow for some reason. I'm not quite sure why. Maybe just my expectations are too high. This batch of like 20 is absolutely killing it. They're huge. I reckon that's the fastest I've ever grown flower horns. Um, I had another batch once that was like seven and they were also real fast. So the common denominator is small batches. But anyway guys, if you like this video, give a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, hit that little red button. And I'll try and keep to the daily uploads. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.